Okay, hello, and today we are going to work on Bayesian games. Okay, game theory, Bayesian games. This will be the part one. Okay, so let's start. Imagine that we have two players, okay? Player two will be in the horizontal line, okay? Here, player two. Here also player 2 and player 1 in the vertical one, here and here. Okay, so first of all we are going to focus on player 2. Player 2 in this case has two kind of preferences. In the first one, player 2 wishes to travel with player 1. Okay, and in the second one, player 2 wishes to travel alone. Okay, so which are the payoffs? The first thing okay so the payoffs for player 2 will be these ones okay the second number in each table these are the payoffs for player 2 okay so let's say that A is Australia and D is Denmark for example okay so what happens if both player 2 and player 1 goes to Australia. Yeah, Australia and Australia. Okay, if they both go to Australia, then the payoff for player 2 will be 1. Okay? What happens if now they go to Denmark? Okay, if both go to Denmark, Denmark and Denmark, then the payoff of player 2 will be 2. So here we can see that player 2 prefers to go to Denmark rather than to Australia. But always he, uh, the player 2 prefers to go together, okay, with the player 1. What happens if they don't coincide in the destination? So let's say that player 2 goes to Denmark and player 1 goes to Australia. Okay, in this case the payoffs will be 0 for player 2 and in this case also, okay? Now, what happens here? 2 wishes to travel alone, so when they coincide in the destination Australia, Australia, the player 2 gets 0 and if they coincide in Denmark, Player 2 also gets 0. But if they, do, if they don't coincide, I mean, for example, if player 2 goes to Denmark and uh, player 1 goes to Australia, then the payoff for player 2 will be 2 and here payoff will be 1 because he prefer, uh, the player 2 prefers to go to Denmark rather than to Australia. Okay? So this is the framework, okay, of this game. Okay. Now, what happens with player one, okay? We have analyzed the game from the point of view of player two, but now we are going to analyze it from the point of view of player one. Okay, player one, doesn't have two kind of preferences, okay, as player two has. No, player one only has one kind of preference. So the payoffs will be, payoffs of player one are these ones, okay? So the payoffs will be the same in both cases, okay? Two, two, zero, 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 and one. Why? Because he, the player one, only has one preference, okay, one choice. But what happens here? That player one, here, player one, doesn't know if player two is going to choose this one or this one. I mean, player one doesn't know which are the preferences of player two. Doesn't know if player two wishes to travel with with player one of or player 2 wishes to travel alone. Okay, player 1 doesn't know. So, let's say 
that for example this is an, an example okay that pro with probability one half player two wishes to travel with one and with probability one half then player two wishes to travel alone okay so the difference from uh, a normal game is that in this case we have probabilities and that's why is a Bayesian game okay because we have probabilities okay so it could be the case that the probabilities would be Q and 1 minus Q okay to make it more simple okay the example we have made the to the probabilities to be one half and one half okay but we can also compute with q and one minus q without knowing exactly which are the probabilities okay so now the computation we want to find the nash equilibrium okay the bayesian nash equilibrium that's our aim so now how we can do that how can we do that okay this is the the framework we have yeah okay so now for first of all for we are going to compute for player one okay so which are the strategies okay player one only can do what a or d okay because he has only one type yeah so he has only one type so he can choose a or d okay the strategies for player two are a a a d d a and d d why because he has the player two has two types okay type one here and type two so player two can choose a here and the here or a here and a here or whatever okay okay so now after explaining those strategies we are going to focus on player one okay the computations uh, let's say that player one chooses a australia okay and player two chooses australia and australia okay in both cases whatever are the preferences of player two uh, player two is going to choose a and a a and a and player one a okay yes so how we compute this this number okay with probability one half yeah he is going to do what the payoff will be for player one because we are in player one two here also two so one one half times two will be one yeah and here one half times two will be also one so one plus one two okay so we, what we have to do to compute these numbers is to multiply the payoff with the probability in each type here and here and then to sum up okay and once we sum up we get these numbers okay the payoffs for player two or the numbers that we have to compute are just these ones okay these ones those payoffs okay those ones okay so now we have done this so now we want to compute the Nash equilibrium so let's say let's say now that um, player 2 yeah chooses to do AA Australia Australia okay so what would do player 1 of course player 1 would choose two because two is greater than zero okay okay so the best response of player one for a a 
player 2 will be what? Player 2, so will be A. The best response for player 1 would be A to that. Now, we go to the for, to the point of view of player 2, okay? Now, so, if player 1 chooses A, yeah, here A, because best response is A, then player the best response for player 2 will be AA also. Let's see. If, he if player 1 chooses A, then here 1 is greater than 0. So, yes, A. What happens here? Player 1, one A, so now 2 is greater than 0, so D. A and D, A and D, A and D is not the same as A, A. So the best response is not, for player 2, does not co uh, coincide with A, A. A, D does not coincide with A, A. So A, A, A is not a Nash equilibrium. Okay. Okay. Let's let's continue. Let's say that player two chooses to do Australia in type one and Denmark in type two. In this case, yeah, one is greater, so player one would choose to play Australia to go to Australia because the payoff is greater. Okay. So now, if player 1 goes to Australia, Australia here, Australia here, the best response for player 2 will be AD, will coincide with this. Okay, let's see. Here, 1 is greater than 0, so A. Okay, in, fir in the first type, the best response for player 2 is A. In the second type, is 2 is greater than 0, so is D. So, we have A, D. A, D coincides with A, D. So, what happens? That we have a Nash equilibrium. Okay? If the best response, we, if we have mutual best responses, then we have Nash equilibrium. Okay? So, that, that's... That is the basic notion of Nash equilibrium. So in this case, then we know that what A A will A A D will be a Nash equilibrium. Okay, if we continue doing this kind of computations, we will compute all Nash equilibriums in this game. In this case, we have only one Nash equilibrium, so we conclude saying that. A, A, D is a Nash equilibrium, okay? So that would be the answer for, for this kind of Bayesian games. As I said, uh, here the probabilities are one half, but it could be that it uh, would be another kind of probabilities or just Q and one minus Q. We can compute also without having a, a concrete example, a concrete example, okay? So, that's it. Thanks.